This is Chucker Burke. Well, I decided to uh, come down here and uh, get some service done on my truck before and on January 2nd. I should be heading back out. Uh, running down to Texas, Dallas, just about below Dallas, Texas. And uh, I'm, I'm just uh, hanging out and having some fun. It's uh, wanting to get my oil change, air filters, and grease things up a little bit, and then get ready to head out. But at the meantime, I'm just uh, che checking some weather uh, conditions down south, and uh, it looks pretty good. Uh, Friday, it's going to be sunny. That's where I'm going to be picking up the load now. After once I'm complete done, it's going to be sunny, so I get to use my hours. Uh, this is going to be a Tuesday drop-off, so pretty much I have a lot of time to take my time to go down there. Now, I'm only going to say one more thing. That is going to be it. One thing is that um, I realized that there's going to be a, a very bad weather approaching down into Texas. Uh, temperatures are going to be get, getting cold, and the winds are coming from north. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be bundling up and, um, you know, getting ready. Uh, business is going to be selling a lot of stuff to the people, like especially wood, for them to stay warm. But now the thing is, I'm not going to have a, 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 a cast iron stove where I'm going to burn my wood, but I need to stay warm myself, get some extra food. So this is a good thing I need to know. Now, also, you know, uh, a lot of people stacking up... Uh, Food, firewood, and probably most of them, all of them are going to stay in house, indoors, and I guess I'll be staying in the truck now. And God's willing, I'm in and out before that ice, rain, snow, cold weather is going to start crawling down on Texas and breeding right over us. Now, that's the uh, one thing I'm really worried about that. So, uh, besides the fact, I think it uh, should be fine. Once I get my oil change here done, I'm going to be pretty happy. Park the truck, go back home, and celebrate the new year. And that's going to be it. That's it. And uh, coming from Trucker Book to you all guys, I uh, think it's time for me to move up. Uh, catch you guys later. Well, this is it. I'm. Uh, Finally, my turn came up, and I'm pretty happy that uh, this guy's gonna start doing. I really need to get this done. Um, I mean, well, one of the good things is also I do inspect the truck, uh, check everything around here. Everything looks the same. Uh, I wanted to wash wash the engine, but I'm not gonna do it here. Um, they do too much money here, $65 just for the truck. I get that done, $65 to the truck and the trailer. So, yep, yeah, and also uh, my last service when I got here, um, the guys down here, they uh, somebody put the oil, but did an unprofessional job. And um, I see that it was, um, got some less oil in the engine. I don't know why they do that. They do it purposely, they get jealous, they see a good truck, they want to ruin it. So I, I'm taking pretty cautious now and double checking everything. Um, so anyway, we'll see what happens. So far I do not see any leaks, uh, everything looks good. When we get to do this oil change, we're also gonna be doing some, uh, also the air filter over there. And um, I'm gonna change the fuel filter again. I did change this about 1,200 miles ago. And um, there he goes, he just dropped the oil down there. And whoa, okay, time to change it. All right, uh, I'll be there holding out. See the morning, it's cold. It's pretty cold, though. Huh? How do you do this in the winter? I tell you what, I guess our body gets used yeah. to it. Well, that's because you're young. Uh, no, it's not that. It's not that hard, it's huh? Once, once you start doing something, you might get like, it's used to you it. Know, psychologically, you know that you have psychologically to be, you have to you do have it. To <laughs> well, you know, we all did this once upon a time when we were young. Okay. I did it. I used to stay on the, you know, sleep in the company, and I used to work, you know, yeah. just to make my boss to be proud of me. That's it. Exactly. <laughs> 
Maybe five years from now, you're not going to be here. You're going to be somewhere else. God loves. So how was your Christmas? You had fun? Not really. I had a lot. You're alone? Yeah. No family, friends? No. Uh, yeah. You know, the other day I was doing a documentary and myself, I, I said to myself... You was watching I, or I doing it? No, me, me, myself. Uh -huh. I don't have friends anymore left. Especially when you're doing this, driving, uh, you're, you know, you, you don't have much... Uh, I don't know really how your life is in this case terrible because your people drive you around, right? Well, but one or the other, you look at it this way. What I can tell you about, you about, about my, our life, you know, like partners, we call it from another country, and uh, sometimes in my case, I left my family, I mean, I left my brothers, and uh, I just know myself. I'm renting a room right now. You're renting a room, wow. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's not a room, it's an apartment. Apartment, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. Well, there you go, guys. I mean, uh, here's a guy, he's uh, alone, and I guess it's normal. Well, as long as we have our health and we have our uh, family, we get, at least we get to talk, we get the advanced uh, Skype uh, technology, and uh, we are able to communicate with our families. I mean, most of these guys work hard, uh, they're separated from their families, and they make the best of it. Well, um, he's doing a great job, and it's the most important part. And he asks me, how is our lives? Well, uh, one wonderful thing I can say is uh, being over the road, he's uh, traveling through this, uh, the highways, and um, looking at beautiful farms and mountains and trees and uh, meet different people. I mean, that's a really nice thing. But, well, and one or the other, I guess we get to choose a uh, long distance. Well, you'll be away from the family. You can do a short distance and then you can be back. Well, I guess vice versa, you get to miss both sides of the world. Well, let's see how much more we're, we'll be here and to wrap this up and get it done. Wow, that looks good. My engine is going to be happy, no? Oh, yeah. <laughs> This oil is better than the, the ones in the, in the tank, right? Yeah, the quality. It's better quality, right? Yeah. <clears throat> what time are you guys going to stay here until? 7 p.m. No, are you serious? Yeah. You guys working overtime today, huh? Yeah, regular, like, that's a regular day. Oh, I see, okay. Well, listen, God bless you, man. You guys do a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Stay healthy, stay warm. Yeah. I hope you're going to have good dinner tonight. Go your home. Go to go, George. Good, my friend. Well. Better to, better to be at church than be drinking at the bar. Yeah, I don't drink. I don't drink. Uh, I don't smoke. And... Yeah. Um, Keep up the good work. Thanks you all watching. And uh, we're almost done. And ready to roll for January 2nd. Going down to yeah. te Texas. Where are you going, Texas? Texas. Dallas, Texas. So today you're going to reach Pennsylvania? Nope, no. nothing. Just finish this, park, yeah. go home. Okay, looks everything fine. The belts look great, nothing's cracked. Uh, Turbo looks good, nothing, there's no cracks and holes. Uh, we just got a brand new air filter in here. Looks all the clips are tight and ready to go. Well, truck a bug, getting ready to hit the road. Once again, January 2nd.